So before continuing further, we just sum up with the question which we asked last time. One was regarding measuring percentage charge in state of the battery. Will anybody got a solution? How can you check what is the extent of percentage of charge in your battery? By using a some resistance, but how much? How much? Parallel resistance, I can say 100 mega ohm. Means instead of just connecting voltmeter across the battery, you need to connect some load. So that the voltage output of the battery will be under loaded condition. How much should be the value of that load? 100 mega ohm is okay or say 10 ohm? What do you do? Or 1 ohm? Even 100 mega ohm, then also we will get reading for different charging status, we will get different readings but it will not be so appropriately linear to map. And if it is 1 ohm, again there will be a problem. So, the normal load, what do we mean by normal load? That inverter you are applying to a battery, sorry, that battery you are applying to inverter. So, it will draw some current. What is normally drawn current means with we will come to that later on with respect to a battery everything else in the world is like a resistance are you getting me if i go inside the battery whatever external big 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 circuit you may connect what it will going to do it is going to just draw some current so it is a load it is effective resistor so for every battery, for every battery, the rest entire passive circuit is effectively a resistor. So that is some equivalent load, maybe say 50 ohms. So that load I should connect and then I will get a linear reading. Is it right? Okay. Then one more question was asked because that is very important, very much important. That is electrical and electronics engineering, what is the difference? Whether anybody has got a solution for that? Anybody has thought over it? You prefer electronics or electrical for the reasons which are not known to you. But what is the, what is the difference then between electrical and electronics engineering? Mainly consists of things uh, which operate on below 12 volt. Right. So he has, uh, I think that uh, I have said that yours is a very bright class and obviously it's a simple question. So you will say that to what, why are you asking some such questions which are having obvious answers. So what he has said, right, he said that electronics engineering is something which operates on lower voltages and electrical engineering is on higher side. Okay. So then I will give, the let us test what he has said is correct or not. Just even though, but no doubt that you are a very bright class, still let us since it is at the beginning stage, we take some examples and verify whether it is correct or not. Even though we say that it is correct. A small battery, is not LED also, a single cell battery, conventional one, incandescent lamp, which is a filament cell lamp, right? Are you getting me? Nowadays you may not get it, but it's difficult to get it, but it, such battery exists. How much voltage? One battery, single cell, mini torch. Is it clear? Mini torch with conventional lamp. So, how much voltage? 1.5 volts, right? So, I take on one side, I take an example of mini torch. Then, whether have you heard about radio set? Nowadays, radio is not even seen. But, ask your parents, a bigger, a bigger radio set means do you know the name transistor is known for 
general public by not the device called as transistor. Lakshalaga, Manje electronics, engineering shetratle, lok sodun, Anne Jagatle, Atharitka, Zunali, Kata, my pun name. But Kumcha would lunch a generation of the Vichalu to me. If transistor to my taka, third, yeah, a piece was a piece that was Rupert. Take when twisted this chip, when twisted was a poor week. Engineering Shetra Nastaria Lokana transistor hash of the Maitiota, but to the Chota device on the way, the guy radio. But radio and transistor in the bigger guy radio and a transistor, yeah, for a guy. Can anybody say radio and a transistor? Egg Mekashikai. Radio is something which is a word based on radio waves, wireless transmission and reception. So, 50 years back, you have a radio license. You have a license. You have a license. You have a license. You have a license. And Low voltage that seems to be correct. 
But the moment, therefore, I, at the last leg of confusion, I did by put, writing me here as amplifier. So amplifier. Now again, this is electronics. Okay, then big. That is AC mains and bigger lamp. Conventional incandescent lamp, LED, LCD, no good. Conventional electric voltage and big conventional lamp. That is electrical electronics engineering. का वोल्टेज जस्ट है, वोल्टेज जस्ट है। We take for the example, अतः ते उठ नहीं इससे। Step down trans मतलब अतः transform फक्त अपन रस्ते अतः बिस्तर घर आप अतः transform अतः लागत है इसमें SM अपन अतः SM PS से charger आलेख मुड़ो। छोटा घर ये अंतर देखा है, छोटा transformer, small पूर्वी देव घर में से छोटा बल्ब लगाया था, जीरो बल्ब। मतलब आज छोटा ट्रांसफार्मर आया था, अतः नहीं उठाया ऐसा तो नहीं थे। छोटा स्टेपलोन ट्रांसफार्मर, 230 वोल्ट टू 6 वोल्ट, अन्य जितने बल्ब आए थे छोटा, ऐसा से उठा दिया कैसे लगा? मतलब तेरे क्या मैंने सेल्टी के रोमिक्स, 230 वो दोनों से परपस क्या है? Giving light। मैं आता है अपने amplifier, mobile में तो उसे amplifier है, transistor amplifier है तो, बट तो क्या माने इसका? Electronics, अन्य high electrical, ऐसा नहीं। So that prima facie what you find that high and low, that is not correct logic. There is a need to rework on it. What is that? So, I now tell you, this is an electrical engineering application. This is an electronics engineer. Now, what can be the basis for classification? students, I think if you are absent today, what is the reason? The absent students will be required to rigor more, otherwise they will be defaulters. So what is the difference? So I will tell examples. Small electric torch. Electric motor, then conventional electric supply to our home, the electric engineering, amplifier, electronics engineering, digital, say radio transmission, electronics engineering, telephone, electronics engineering. Telephone, electronics, electric railway, electrical engineering, 
electricity is used for transferring something if it is so it is electrical engineering application and if it is some other thing it is electronics engineering application what is that what is the difference electrical engineering is that application where electricity is used to transfer the energy or power again use interchangeably and then electronics engineering is used to transfer he said signal can you can can you elaborate further Bro signal is correct but broader terminology hmm what frequency transfer of energy or power electrical engineering and transfer of information so information is a broader term which includes signal right transfer of information is electronics engineering so in electronics engineering say in a radio set signal comes from atmosphere at home you need to put a power supply again so power is not the issue what you, you want to get the information out of it so it, electricity is used as a medium of transfer of energy electrical electrical electric energy to light energy electric energy to mechanical energy motor right is it okay electric energy to heat energy coil so these are electrical engineering applications and electronics amplifier telephone telegram transfer of information that is very important thing which we must note down. Is it okay now? So we proceed further. Now we proceed for very simpler things. So last time itself we have understood that a constant ideal voltage source, an ideal constant voltage source can't be there. So whatever we get is a practical voltage source. But then when we solve some problems, that time we again solve using, in the example, if you have gone through previous question papers, we draw ideal voltage source means we draw it assuming that it has got some resistance which is negligible in fact there is a concept of regulated power supply wherein it acts as good as an ideal voltage source within some range to that also we shall cover but right not right now so right now whenever a voltage source is drawn in the questions asked, you treat to be ideal voltage source, it has got a negligible resistor and the other resistances which we use are of much higher value so that the impact of internal resistance is negligible. So in that assumption, we proceed with as good as it is ideal. So then very simple questions which you must be able to answer. So, I think that already videos are given to you, so there is no need to move point by point. We should be able to cover at a larger perspective. So Kirchhoff's laws, everybody is aware. No need to tell it separately, right? What is Kirchhoff's, voltage? Kirchhoff's current law? At any given node, algebraic sum of currents is zero. That is a classical definition. Working and simple definition. Currents incoming equal to currents, outgoing, you assume the directions of current and calculate the answer. If answer is negative, the current flows in reverse direction that, that you assume. And what is Kirchhoff's voltage law or mesh current law, node law, and voltage law or mesh law? Algebraic sum of voltages in a loop is zero, and again in standard the standard one and simple one, voltage source equal to voltage drop.
कैलकुलेट करंट आर कैलकुलेट करंट आर जस्ट एज ए प्राइमर यू आर सपोज कैलकुलेट मीन्स एबिलिटी टू कैलकुलेट दिस इज नॉट अचीवमेंट बट इनबिलिटी टू कैलक्युलेट इज लिमिटेशन कशा लगा हे आल म्हणजे काही फार मोठे अचीवमेंट नव्हे पण येत नसेल तर नक्कीच काळजी करण्याचा प्रश्न आहे पॉइंट फोर Point three five. So, 
Listen very carefully now. You should have finished it much quickly, but you could not. So we assume that this is you found out, right? We assume this to be I1. Right? We assume this to be I1. We assume this to be I2. The assumption why to assume like this, you may get in the practice. Even if you don't assume like this and assume something different, still answer will be same. Only thing is that when we, if you assume by common sense something which is like this, answer is somewhat quicker to be found out. Otherwise, also in every case, answer is there. So what is this i? i is i1 plus i2. So we don't calculate i at all. We write two equations with i1 and i2. We calculate i1 and i2 separately and simply we add them to get i. Is it clear? So we assume that there is one voltage source. This current is I1, other voltage source is I2. Then the question asked is to find I and because of Kirchhoff's law, this is I1 plus I2, right? So when we can calculate I1 and I2 separately, our answer is done, just we add them. So Kirchhoff's law, we apply, Kirchhoff's node law we apply. What we do? Assume this is I1, assume this is I2. And this is I1 plus I2 is Kirchhoff's node law what we have applied. Is it right? Is it okay? So Kirchhoff's node means Kirchhoff's current law is so simple that to at any node, what is meaning of using or applying Kirchhoff's law? At any node, assume all but one currents. Kirchhoff's Current law, what is the case of the current law? The current law is the same as the current law. The current law is 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 the current The current law is the current law. The so assume current in all but one branches. Here there are three branches. So assume current in two branches, I1 and I2. Now apply Kirchhoff's law, voltage law or mesh law for this loop, loop 1 and this loop 2. Right? Voltage source equal to voltage drop. What is voltage drop across this? 10 is, it, 10 is voltage source, right? I write it on the other side. Voltage source equal to voltage drop. What is voltage drop? Across this resistor? 30 I1. I1. And across this resistor? So am I right? 30 I1 plus 8 into bracket I1 plus I2 is 10 is right? And second, same 5. 20 I2 plus 8 into bracket I1 to the side, right? So this equation gets further simplified to 38 I1 plus 8 I2 is equal to 10. And second is 28, second is 8 I1 plus 28 I2 is equal to 5. Is it right? Is it okay? So there are two equations. So using these two simultaneous, it is now high school level problem. Right? Using these two simultaneous equations, you must be able to find the answer. Still, this being the very introductory session, we solve it. How we solve it? Make it simple. By many methods you can solve, we make it simple. We divide this by 2. So what we get? Just 19 I1 plus 4 I2 is equal to 10. And 8 I1 plus 28 I2 is equal, sorry, is equal to 5. Dividing both sides by 2, right? First, divide both of them with 19 I1 plus 4 I2 is equal to 10 and 
So this is 19, sorry, 38 I1 plus 8 I2 is equal to 10. So 19 I1 plus 4 I2 is equal to 5. And 8 I1 plus 28 I2 is equal to 5. Right? Now multiply this equation by 7. So it is 28 I2 equal to 35. And this is 1. This is 130. Is it right? 133 I1. Then put it minus. Is it okay? Minus, minus, minus. So we get 125 I1 is equal to 30. Is it right? 125 I1 is equal to 30. So again, 1000 I1 equal to 240. So I1 is equal to point 24. I1 is equal to point 24. Right? So is it okay? I1 is point 24. So you put that I, which is better to calculate, you put that I1 here. So point 24 into 8. Point 24 into 8 is 1.92. Right? 1.92 is equal to, sorry, plus 28 I2 is equal to 5. Right? Is it okay? Then how do we solve it? Multiplying every term by 100, we get 192 plus 2800 I2 is equal to 500, right? So, 2800 I2 is equal to 500 minus 192. 500 minus 192 is 308. And with, you should look, if you are having some, uh, that is, this is something which is not easy for AI based system, for human being 28, 280, 280 plus 28, 308 right so here the answer is I would like to point I2 is point 0.11 so I1 plus I2 current is point 0.35 is it ok? I think it is quite simple Now, so by this, by Kirchhoff, see, by using current source right now, I am not using it right at this juncture. All other things, none of the other things I am using, simply volt, constant voltage sources resistances and Kirchhoff's law. So any number of resistances, any number of voltage sources, you must be able to find the answer. There should not be any problem. But here we find that <coughs> finding answer using Kirchhoff's laws takes much time and we are required to have, what are you doing? Look here. We are required to have multiple calculations. So, today that may not be a problem because you find that what you are doing? Today, attendance attendance. From next time onwards, it was less than attendance upon gates and Surugas, the Sangaji girls. So, today calculation is not a problem because everything is computerized. Therefore, we may not even think that Kirchhoff's finding current using Kirchhoff's laws is a big problem which I need to tackle. Everything can be found out. 
therefore there is no need to think of any alternative fast techniques any alternative fast techniques are not need of the hour today but that was not the situation 3 400 years back 300 years back electricity was there computer was not there so for designing something we need to calculate manually then in manual calculations even though kirchhoff's everything you can do using kirchhoff's laws but merely doing it by using kirchhoff's laws here there are two sources when there are many more things become further complex therefore someone like you was thinking that how can it be made simple if you have gone through thevenin's the my lectures and thevenin's theorem then it's not new, not new thing for you but if you have not gone through and still you are able to find it out it is really achievable but it is like a security guard at a palace dreaming about a king a king's accident likely accident and next morning it is the king oh i saw in the dream that today it's very dangerous for you if you are going somewhere uh, there is like lot of accident don't do that then really king comes to know that it happened then he gives him a handsome reward and terminates him from duty why he gives handsome reward because he has saved his life and why he terminates from the duty because he was not supposed to guard and not dream not sleep and dream so like that if you are able to find out what thevenin's theorem is there today without watching my videos it is very what we can say credible for you for finding it on your own but at the same time it is an indicator that you are care careless because you have not watched the videos so let us see you know, those who have watched and have, those who have not watched how they how they perform so thevenin was thinking that ultimately ultimately the, what is the question the question is that i now wrote this out all the assumptions which we have drawn ultimately what is what is the question asked what what we need to do simply we need to what is the, the problem is to calculate the current in this resistor there i look it as a effective 
system. So battery looks, what are you doing? Look here. Battery looks everything outside which is passive circuit as a single resistor. Like that, Like that, when I am a resistor, what is asked, what was the question asked? Calculate the current in the given resistor. So when we calculate the current in the given resistor, I am looking from the resistor's point of view. I am inside the resistor, so what I look the external world towards? In which manner? That is the question. So when I am having this simple circuit, For a simple circuit where there are multiple sources, multiple other resistances and ultimately the question asked is about calculating current in the given resistor. So my point of interest is that resistor. My point of interest is that resistor. So I take myself to the inside a resistor. I take myself between A and B. 
in means any resistor in the circuit when it is connected. The first thing Kevin's and current to that circuit means if a question is in a very big electric circuit consisting of multiple voltage sources and resistances. I am deliberately skipping current source right now. So in a big, big circuit consisting of multiple voltage sources and multiple resistances, if everybody should look here because without looking here, you are not expected to think right now. So you look here. So the current in a particular resistance should be calculated so that is snatched away first. Is it clear? A big circuit and current in a, the question is to calculate current in a particular resistor. So the, that particular resistor in through which current is to be calculated is to be taken away. Marathi circuit. Manje ek motha circuit hai jane bharapur voltage source hai bharapur resistance hai eka kutla tari resistance mara current kada hai जहाँ रेजिस्टेंस मतलब करंट विचार ले लाए तो रेजिस्टेंस सर्किट में बाहर का लाइस है अन्य तो रेजिस्टेंस जितना जोड़ ला होता त्याह दोन एंड्स ना ए एंड बी ना हो रहे थे दैट्स व्हाट आई राइट देख चला जितन करंट जहाँ करेंस में ना करंट विचार ले लाए तो रेजिस्टेंस बाजुरा का लाइस है त्याह इट क्या सर्किट की तरफ आएगा सर सर तेज सर्किट है मतलब कसर अल्टीमेटली दार वन टू पॉइंट्स सो इस सम इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट वेरी ह्यूज वेरी ह्यूज बट अल्टीमेटली इट कैन डिस्क्राइब ओनली बाय यूजिंग टू वैल्यूज इस हिंट की बनती है एक एनी बिग सर्किट कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ मल्टीपल वोल्टेज सोर्सेस एंड मल्टीपल � Viewed from any two points, the same, it is not so big, but it can be very big. Any big circuit between point A and B can be effectively considered and only two things are there inside. By, by any complex electric circuit between two points of points of interest, any given complex electric circuit consisting of multiple voltage sources and multiple resistances can be looked at from two points of interest as if it is consisting of only two values what those are and how will you calculate that? How will you calculate that? That is voltage and how do you say it? Have you watched the video? When you said TH, it is you have watched it, right? So those who have not watched the videos, they can't raise the hand because they are what we can say after getting caught up. Anyway, I again tell you without those videos independently that There are two ways. Number one, that now you might visiting doctor nowadays. In previous generations, it was an exception, but now it is a routine feature. So blood pressure is tested, and they test sugar. So some parameters the purvi the nadi pariksha karaje nustahar ke vaisa. Now let us say blood pressure and sugar they compute and based on that they estimate something. Like that, what kind of, what I want, I am, I want to calculate what current will flow through a ohm resistor. So where it is connected between point A and what you are doing? This is connected between A and B. So I disconnect it and I, for, for me, Point A and point B are my points of interest. So, how the circuit effectively something is there which I say equivalent. So, what that is can be diagnostic test can be carried out by doing some measurements. And what are the 
सिंपल मोस्ट मेजरमेंट विच आई वॉट आर सिंपल मोस्ट इलेक्ट्रिक मेजरमेंट विच आई कैन कैरी आउट फॉर सर्किट अंडर टेस्ट बिटवीन ए एंड बी वॉट आई कैन डू वॉट आई कैन डू नंबर वन यूर है मल्टीमीटर मैं क्या कर सर्किट मध्या एट ओम मध्य करंट फ्लो हो मैं कैलक्युलेट कर Source 